What's up guys, ViperFPV here, and today we have the Foxier F405 all-in-one flight controller. And I like to do these little videos to kind of give a good layout, show you guys how many UARTs are on it, show you the layout, and to see if this is something interested you'll be buying. This is actually one that we actually got in our last quad box, and I like to do these, like I said. So let's go ahead and jump in to do a little overview of what is on this flight controller. So it actually comes with these little gummies that you have to install on the ends. It does come with a low ESR capacitor, and I believe this is a, where'd it go? A 470 microfarad, 35 volt capacitor. And right here, this is an all-in-one flight controller. So we have our plus, our minus, and our plus for our battery. Then we have our plus and our minus on all four corners for ESCs. And this will have to use individual ESCs. You can't use a 4-in-1 with this flight controller because it does not have a header pin to plug it in. I, mean, I guess you could break it out and solder four wires to the signal pads, but that'd be a really ugly, nasty job if you did that. Now on the corners also, we have our ground. Actually, not the ground. We have our signals right there. And then we also have, it says R2, R1. That is actually for telemetry. So you can use ESC telemetry from BHELI 32B ESCs. Right here on the front, we have our ground. Actually, not our ground. There it is. Ground right there. And then we have signals uh, 5 and 6 right here. So if you want to use this with, say, uh, I guess a something that has six motors or five motors, you can go ahead and do that. We have our buzzer pins and our LED pins, and we also have a five volt pin right there, and that would be most likely for your buzzer as well. Actually, that's for uh, LEDs, the five volt right there. So this is what this little section over here is for. I'm going to flip it around so it's easier for me to read as well. We have our ground pads right here, and then we also have our five volt pads right here, and then we have T3 R3, it says SCL and RDA. Not sure what those actually are. But then we have our ground. We have our 3.3 volts, our 5 volts. And then we have transmit 1, transmit 2. And then we have underneath transmit 1 and transmit 2, we have RC. And then we have transmit 4, and then R, R, RX4. So these are your UARTs right here. Going over here... On this side, we have our ground, we have a 5 volt, and then we have a 9 volt. So you can actually bridge these if you want to. And right now it actually is bridged with the 9 volt. So I'll probably be switching that over to 5 volts because it's just better. Well, actually this is for the camera, so we might as well just use the 9 volts for the camera anyway. I usually just hook up my cameras directly to the transmitter, so I usually don't even bother using these anyway. We have our camera, and then we have CC, that's for camera control. and that actually is kind of getting outdated now, is that the way you used to take your OSD plug and plug and solder it onto this pad, now you're actually using UART. They have like UART uh, transmit and receive pins on their the cameras now to control the camera. And if you have the OSD option with a little OSD, usually it's blue, the wire coming off of it, that's where you would go ahead and solder it right there. Then we also have another ground, and then over here we have uh, 5 volts or 9 volts, and again it's bridged with 9 volts. And then we have our VTX. This is where our video transmitter would get hooked up to for the video. And then the camera over here, like I said, went over before. That's where your camera video feed would go into. So you get the OSD. And then we have transmit 5 and receive 5. Um, so there is also some 3.3 volt pins over here. And there's nothing really on the back of it at all. See, it's just pretty much the same pins just on the bottom. So how would I hook this thing up? I probably, since I use Crossfire, I probably use these two pins right here, transmit five, and then I'll definitely bridge this over to five volts and use this for my Crossfire setup over here. And then, like I said, I'll use my camera, my VTX for my video and for my video transmitter. And then we have, like I said, the ESCs on the side, and that would pretty much be it. Um, I don't usually use more than just the receiver for UARTs, um, but if I probably need another one, let's grab another one here. So this one has actually has one, two, three, I believe three or four UARTs on this flight controller, which is actually pretty decent considering it is an F4 flight controller and usually they have problems with um, inversion on the SBUS 
pin, and it doesn't have SBUS listed, so it probably is probably this receive pin, RC pin right here that has the inverter on it. But that should do it for the video. I hope you guys found this video useful. I like to do these, like I said, do an up close and personal view of them. I know that um, Project Blue Falcon used to do these, and I used to watch them all the time. That's why I'm doing them now. Just uh, as I get a new flight controller in, I like to do a little overview. But like I said, I'm going to leave uh, links to this flight controller and Quadbox as well, since this did come from Quadbox, in the video description. And I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.